Welcome back guys to another video. Um, something that I've been doing for years in regards to dating that I'm surprised that not a lot of guys do the same is giving a girl two options. Um, I will have to credit, I remember first looking into uh, Corey Wayne, watching his videos when I was in my corporate job, uh, listening to his videos on my phone. And I always remember him mentioning, give a girl two options. It's pretty simple, but I don't know why a lot of guys now that I'm coaching, seeing guys' as text messaging threads, they're not doing the same. Um, and there's a reason why it's good to start practicing giving a girl two options because one, a girl may not be available on the given day that you're proposing. And some girls, I'm not saying they're not interested, but some girls are not in the habit of offering alternatives. They'll just say, oh, I'm not free that day. Um, and then you're kind of thinking, well, should I propose another day? Or, you know, then that could potentially look needy and then it kind of snowballs. So um, again, credit to Corey Wayne. Uh, ever since that, I've been getting into the day game, cold approach, dating, getting a girl's number, she texts back, texts back, having a few back and forths. Um, and then when you go out to, for the ask, I always give a girl two options. So are you free Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Thursday, and my experience, unless there's a, you know, situation where she's not in town or she's genuinely not available, if a girl's interested in you, she's going to pick one of those days. Um, if she's not, from my experience, she's like, no, I'm not free, and doesn't even offer an alternative based on the two days that you've given her, um, my experience, she's not that interested. And not only girls, I think guys in general. Most people are not that busy. You know, I'm going to lay it out there. Yes, there are people, they say they're very busy. They have their career, they go work out, blah, blah, blah. You know, they, they do all this stuff that like, it's like normal stuff. It's like n nothing extraordinary. But if somebody really wants to see you, they will make themselves available. And that's a good test of using this two day proposal method brings because you're offering her two days because yes, if she's not free on Thursday, but if she really wants to see you, she'll see you on Friday or Saturday or Sunday. Um, so going forward, anybody, any numbers that you get, I suggest start proposing two days. And for one, that's gonna rule out any unavailability if she is busy on one of the days. And two, that's also gonna filter out, filter out whether or not she's really interested in seeing you because if she wants to see you one of these two days, it's going to work for the most part. And if she has no interest, she's just going to say, I'm busy or doesn't even respond to your message, which pretty much gives you the answer. So start doing this um, pretty simple, but not a lot of guys are doing it. And then they get hung up. They, they offer one day. The girl says, I'm not available. Then they look needy by asking her for another day. And the girl, got, girl's thinking, all right, this guy really wants to see me next. So, you know, make sure that doesn't happen to you. Propose two days. And um, it's simple. You'll see that it'll streamline and it'll make asking her out a lot easier. And it'll rule out any unavailability or disinterested girls. Or it also screens for those as well, saying that they're not available or they don't respond back to you without. And if they do say that they're busy, but they don't bring up any alternative, that's another sign to pick up on, meaning that, I don't, she's not that interested and that's just from my experience and also shows with some of the clients too who also test it out as well and they say the same thing um, and for the ones who are interested the girls pick one day out of the two days that they propose so if that guys hope that made sense start doing that start um, you know putting it in your text conversations if you have any questions about this first link in the description book a free 15 minute call with me we can go over about this or anything else that you want to talk about. And as always, if you found the video of any value, please like, subscribe to the channel. Talking to you from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.